Doug Ross, and I'm a photographer. I'm a member of the Art Nude Ireland Collective. Comma. Uh, the Art Nude Ireland Collective is a collective for both photographers and models, and we've been working together for a couple of years in order to try to see if the art nude genre of photography can be developed in this country. In a large portion of the rest of Europe, art nude photography is a genre of photography for generations. In Ireland, it's very new. Uh, well, the collective is that uh, we work together. We meet on a regular basis. We show the work of photographers that we like. Uh, we show our own work. We also try to create a safe environment it's an incredibly supportive, collaborative environment, shared um, and fantastic. Uh, we work with models uh, who are brand new to maybe art nude, or maybe have a lot of experience. Uh, I mean, a lot of these terms mean different things to different people. Uh, when we talk about art nude photography, we're talking the body is something that's very expressive, it's very beautiful. With the collective, it's specific philosophy shared by all members to deconstruct the idea of nudity back into aesthetic. Would that be a fair way to describe it? That would certainly be one way you could describe it, yeah. The body and sexuality in a culture that hasn't developed this medium, nudity and sexuality are seen as one and the same thing. As a collective, have kind of steered clear of, of that side of things and this really is all about composition. And for me, I find it a lot easier but also more of a discipline to work in a way with my body to produce a result that on the camera is tasteful um, but creative at the same time. So we all know each other very well. We are um, very good friends and have great working relationships which has only kind of accelerated our creative process and we've really come on strength to strength in that and the work as a collective has improved um, leaps and bounds as, as time has gone on. We had a, our inaugural exhibition in Filmbase last November. To the best of my knowledge, uh, exhibitions that were exclusively fine art nude were in single digits. In the entire history of Ireland, there's only been eight fine art nude and photographic exhibitions. Individual works, of course, have been shown from time to time. This was certainly the, the first significant group show that I'm aware of that was ever held in this country. Of fine art nude photography. Well, what we're talking about here is technical side of photography, meeting place with models, developing ideas into aesthetics, and also areas of erotica. Well, uh, again, uh, Mona can give her opinion. <coughs> and we, this is a really good area for us to discuss Absolutely. within the collective. What I understand. Uh, sexuality is part of our lives. It's part of everybody's life. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, um, most f photographing of the nude uh, up to now has been sexually based. We certainly have a prevalence of pornography that anybody can access very, very easily uh, in our society today. Uh, on one hand, how do you define pornography as well? We, we have these debates within our uh, collective. We certainly don't think that the mere presence of a naked body constitutes pornography, no. but our shame-based culture used to say that. And there's still people who are conditioned to go, oh my god, there's a, there's a naked person. Uh, sexuality is part of our human experience, and therefore we should not exclude the exploration of sexuality, but it uh -huh. should be a human, psychological, and, and I suppose another thing, very important, equal exploration because so much of the pornography that we see, in fact some would say that the definition of pornography is an exploitative and objectifying uh, primarily towards women. Go back to fine art, some of which may be implied nude as opposed to the model will be in the nude, however you, you would not see in things. 90% of the models are female um, and a lot of photographers uh, do prefer the female form. Um, we do have one male member who has been incredibly successful as a model um, and has opened other people's minds, other photographers' minds who said, maybe I'll only shoot women. And now the tables have turned in which 
he has made them more comfortable of shooting the male form, as a lot of the photographers in the world of Art Nude, you know, are male themselves, so maybe they see kind of a reflection of their own vulnerability. It's um, all part of the discussion, it's all part of the development of this. Away from a notion that uh, this is exclusively about men photographing young, beautiful women. I think, yeah, to me, personally, the fine art nude, a lot of the work I do is, is based around more so vulnerability than anything provocative. And the human form on its own is, is a vulnerable thing. We all look so different underneath our clothes. It goes back to your ability to pose how you want to show mm -hmm. yourself. When you're working with a theme or a concept with a costume, it's very easy to play that character. You strip all that back, all your makeup as models don't tend to be kind of heavily made up uh, within the genre. Um, and when you take all that away, you really see a very different side of the same theme. It's important to point out that this is also a, uh, a joint exhibition uh, with an international collective that's based in France. And we have several French photographers Thailand, another from Poland, another from Switzerland, that are part of this international collective. Uh, the, the collective uh, is, is a general photographic collective from 30 countries with 70 photographers. And it's among those photographers, the ones that do fine art nude work, have been invited by their collective to, to put work forward. Mm -hmm. But it is showing that uh, uh, this is a genre, when it gets well developed, uh, is absolutely stunning. Fascinating. Several of the photographers that we will be showing are part of a uh, biennale of art nude photography in France. They've had two of them. Uh, they've invited the Art Nude Ireland Collective en masse back to France next year to see what we're up to. Although we are trying to kind of promote the movement of Art Nude in Ireland, if we hadn't founded this group, all these people from these international photographers and models, we wouldn't have the opportunity to collaborate with these people without what we're doing now. Um, so it is opening up Ireland as, as maybe a potential, you know, mm. spot for, for new work. Thank you so much for a great interview.